Guys, I'm feeling a lot better. I iced my leg and I put a ton of stuff on it. Don't worry, nobody's throwing it in Nori. I'll, um, I came home and whined at Nori and told her she was mean. Um, it wasn't even so much as getting hit by the car. What it was, it was on the way up when I wasn't filming. Um, before I got to the library, there was a kitty. And Kitty was laying on the sidewalk. And I thought, well, maybe Kitty's having a snooze, right? Well, Kitty wasn't having a snooze. And I was trying to, you know, pet Kitty. You know how you do. And, like, touch Kitty's paw and say, come on, Kitty, get up. Get up, Kitty. And Kitty didn't get up. And I just felt really bad. Which is why I had to give up all my kitties. My parents always insisted on having cats and don't get me wrong i love cats but for some reason when you live in a busy area cats just need to go outside because they're cats they refuse to stay indoors and we lost so many cats on the road in front of my house that i will not have cats anymore i would love to but i won't i think it's cruel because one i can't take them to the vet and two um more than likely they would get hit by a car so, I, 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 you know, as soon as my mom was gone, I adopted the cats out. Well, not as soon as. I had them for like a month or so. But they kept running on the road and running on the road. And finally, the cat, the one cat that I was down to that had kept, he ended up getting hit. So, I felt really bad for Kitty. Because, you know, they really don't understand what a car is. And maybe that was, I thought maybe it was a warning and then I felt even worse because I'd rather just get hit by a car than have a kitty get hurt. So I felt even worse and I was like bawling my eyes out, which you guys didn't get to see. Poor pity. It was a pretty pity. It looked kind of like the mother cat that I adopted out. At first I thought it was her, but it was much younger than she would be at this period of time. So yeah, I felt really bad, and I just had to keep going on and filming like nothing went wrong. Like, oh my god, the poor pity. So, I went on filming. I think I was more upset than that, than getting hit by the car. Because it was just, she bumped my leg, but she bumped it hard. I mean, if it would be like a family member or something do that to you, like bump you with the car you wouldn't even think anything of it. It was just a stranger did it to me. She came up on my blind side. So there was no way I could see her. Because I'm real careful in that parking lot. To walk very carefully. Because I've almost got hit all the time. As you've seen we have real hilly areas. And a lot of times if people are going too fast. They don't see stuff when they come up over the hill. Until the last minute. So it's actually really dangerous area to walk in. People get hit and killed all the time. People do get in car accidents and die all the time. People get put in the hospital. So yeah, I kind of take my life in my hands every time I walk somewhere, but it's like my only way of getting around. So, you know, I'm just lucky it was just that. And I think Inari was trying to protect me. And after little cub had got her yowls out at home for not doing more. It hurt. My leg hurts. I hate you. She understood. She's a good mom. Um, Then, you know, once little fox mom was sure it was okay, she's, I think, thinking going and burning that woman's village to the ground. I'm like, okay, yeah, mommy loves me. So yeah, that happened, and I'm not going to eat out, not because of that, it's just like, their food quality is going downhill, and I am supposed to be getting, like I tried to mention in the previous video, I am supposed to be getting soup from Japan, and as I was up there for an hour talking to the post mistress, um, she said she's had orders from Japan take over a month to get here, so I'm like, oh my god, because I've waited, I ordered it the 9th, the 8th of last month, it chipped the 9th. It should have been here in 10 to 20 days. It still is not here. Yeah, excuse me. And Amazon's like, well, wait until the 9th and we'll help you. And I'm like, it's supposed to come tomorrow. But then when I go to check where's my stuff, they're like, it'll come the 9th. And I'm like, tomorrow's the 8th and you're saying it's going to come the 9th. If it doesn't come the 9th, I really wish I would read this person's feedback. I was just so excited to find Japanese soup at such economical prices. Um, I don't know if they'll give me a refund or try to ship another thing out. But then that's another month to wait and go through all this again. I think 
I'm sorry to any Japanese viewers, but I think I'm done dealing with Japan and China because I've had so many shipment problems. Some shippers get through super fast, like my Japanese seller did. I ordered it last Sunday and I already have it today, but then you get ones where you just, you never get the product. I had one seller from China that I waited three months and then they said, oh yeah, Chinese customs wouldn't let me ship it through. I'm like, you've known this for three months. You would not send me my money. So yeah, I'm like, it, I'll order it if it's already in this country because I wanted to order more food from these people too because they had like um, Japanese Kit Kats and sweet plum paste and these stupid things I really don't need. Like um, there's food seasoning to put on rice and they had a Pokemon edition and there's like 20 sachets of it and it's like three bucks and I'm like I don't mind waiting a month if it actually gets here but so far it's not here but yeah that's what was bothering me more than anything is seeing the poor cat I I felt really bad I was gonna bury it and then I thought well I can't bury it with my bare hands and then I was going to cover it, and I thought, what if somebody's looking for their pet? Because she looked really well cared for. She didn't look, you know, like a feral. She was very beautiful. So, you know, I felt terrible. And then when I came home, I decided to walk the other way, because I was, like, carrying the Inari thing in my hand. And I walked the other way and walked to the um, food place. And I, I had planned to not eat all, all month. Um, not that we don't have the money, but I just wanted to save in case, like, anything else unexpected came up. And then I got knocked by the car. But, you know, it, it's okay. Everything balances out. Sometimes, like in Voodoo, they believe if you have a small string of misfortunes, it's like they're kind of, like, using that energy to prevent something even worse that could happen. So, like, some of the stuff that's broke and, like, some of the other stuff, it could just be them settling in. Or it could be them preventing misfortunes. Usually, La Santa's the one to break stuff or bear and to, like, help you out. They'll, like, break something. And I don't know how they do it. I'm not a god. But they'll break something and they can use that energy to prevent something worse from happening. I don't know. I'm not a god. I didn't make these rules. But, yeah... So I'm just hoping that small misfortune was, you know, the end of it. Um, it made me weary to go back out because I was going to go see my friend and then I was going to go back up to see the friend that had been out because I told her I have to go home. I said, I have to get ice on this. And she's like, huh? Because she knew I got hit. But they were like totally unconcerned. I said, I'm I'm kind of okay. I mean, like my leg wasn't broken or anything, but I like to be fussed over when I've got hurt. Let's make that clear. I like to be fussed over. And like nobody was going to get me an ice bag or anything, so I had to come home and do all the fussing myself. So I got myself an ice pack and I put two rubs on it and I took Tylenol. I put myself to bed for a while and, and I made myself a bowl of ice cream and like that um tea pancake we made so yeah i had to be mom and fuss over myself i was not too happy i wanted someone to fuss over me i i need like a robot that can do that like fuss over me as needed so if you guys like what you see like comment subscribe and i'll see you later Bye bye